All right, good morning, guys. 4.29 in the morning. It is 45 degrees outside. Compare that to, to uh, 23 degrees up there in the... Well, I guess that was the day before. Um, but in the Belton. <laughs> yes, I'm down by the Gulf Coast. It doesn't get anywhere near quite as cold. Although it will freeze here, I'm sure. Um, anyway, uh, today's goal is... Come on, show me what today's goal is. <sighs> today's goal is to Galleria. I'm kind of hoping that they have a Cybertruck there. Not, not I mean, I've seen Cybertrucks, but I mean, I've seen Cybertrucks like I've seen multiple. I saw the one in Charlotte, right? So, what, what's, what's another one? But apparently my grandson, once he saw... Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, he's only eight. Right? Poor mom. I don't, I don't know. She's going to figure it out. <laughs> he, he's not going to be happy with uh, inheriting grandpa's Model 3. No, oh, he wants a Cybertruck. Anyway, that's what, that's what the goal is for today. And then uh, as soon as we finish that, um, then it'll only be about two and a half, three hours from home. So I'll head on home and uh, sleep in a regular bed without pe all these people all around me. Anyway, yes, I don't like a lot of people. Um, I guess when I went to sleep, I mean, I must have used some energy overnight. So the charge supercharger at Covington is saying 8% arrival. So we may end up having a recompute, but that's okay. I, I never really expected that part of it to hold. Uh, although I would like to stop in Iowa. I, Iowa, Louisiana, that is. But we'll see. Okay. Onward up or charge. Okay, guys. Welcome to the other side of Mississippi or uh, whatever. Uh, so this is at exit 2 on I-10. Um, anyway, 74 miles, 1 hour, 7, 324 watt hours per mile. Wow. Okay, time for a break. Okay, guys, 37 miles, 39 minutes, 364 watt-hours per mile. So let me go back to the um, Exit 2 Welcome Center at, in Mississippi. Um, I remember a while back they had a bunch of uh, NASA stuff there, like a space capsule and some, some stuff like that. Well, I, of course it was dark, but I didn't see any of that. So there you go, that... I can't recommend that. All right. Um, when we're driving down the highway, there was a uh, cop car parked on the left side. Uh, I guess the, uh, they were picking up a stalled vehicle. So I guess in uh, Mississippi, Louisiana, they're really big about, in Alabama, they're really big about picking up all those stalled vehicles. Although not always. Maybe just in dangerous places. I don't know. Anyway, where I'm really going is when the car saw the lights, it popped, it slowed down. I'm like, what? And then it popped up a message saying, uh, slow down because it detected some uh, safety lights, whatever the words were it used. So there you go. Cool. Awesome. I, I haven't had that happen before, but, you know, maybe because in Texas we had the red and blue. So maybe he doesn't associate the red and blue like he does the blue. I, I don't know. Or maybe a new update just came across on the uh, FSD. Although I haven't had a software update in a couple of weeks. Um, or a week and a half, whatever it is. Um, and, uh, oh, so as I'm driving along, this, there's, there's, a, there's a semi followed by two pickups that, that are entering the highway. The two pickup guys, oh, they're desperate to go. And, and yeah, these guys fly right i'm right at the speed limit and they are like gone anyway uh so the the second of the two pickups has his turn signal on fsd sees it and and starts slowing down because fsd slowed down for the second guy the first guy once i slowed down the first guy had room went gone and since fsd slowed down now the second guy 
has room to go forward and get over too. So that was kind of curious, very interesting. Anyway, there you go. Um, welcome to Covington. Man, I can tell you both the the both the fan on my car and the fan in the chart and the post, they're both ripping along. And uh, well, I fell down to 160. Oh, I'm falling off. Okay, I was at 170 just a few seconds ago. But there you go. Uh, for some reason, I have Lafayette in there. I'm surprised by that. I'll have to go back and take another look. I thought I was going to Iowa. I, for some reason, I want to go to I. I mean, the name just sticks out in my mind. But we'll see. Hey guys, time for a little break. Uh, 99 miles, an hour 41, and uh, 301 watt hours per mile. I got 25 percent. It's 45 degrees outside. Uh, it's only another 19 minutes, but I kind of need to take a break right now. Okay, it's a curious place. I've seen it going driving by several times. Um, I guess there's a trail or something. I don't know. I'll, I'll just kind of scan all of it. I'll just let it stand. Uh, you guys can figure out later what, what's going on. So this is a floodplain. Okay, so we are here at the Welcome Center. <clears throat> and you can take a long hike past US Highway 190. The river levee. Oh, you're on the levee, okay. And then when you get down there, you have to turn back around and come back. Oh, that's not necessarily a walking trail. This is the walking trail over here, the paddle trail. Go up to the boat launch, okay. I'm not sure why I would do that, but okay. Apparently that's something that people do. I mean, here's a picture of people hiking. I guess you gotta take a backpack with you. Oh, wow. That might be interesting. I don't know. Okay, welcome to Lafayette, Louisiana. 18 miles, 19 minutes, 314 watt hours per mile. Um, yes, that was pretty heavy um, conditioning, uh, preconditioning, I think. So anyway, we're here. Let me get plugged in and get going. Okay, so now I've been to an Aldi. Or how you say that? I mean, it's uh, it's like a moderate-sized grocery store, although it's not as big as uh, as the Lowe's back in Laga Vista. It's slightly smaller than that, and uh, all the fruit is pre-packaged, so you can't just pick whatever you want. Although the bananas are not, the bananas are are open, but everything else, all the apples, pears, all pre-packaged. Okay, uh, seems like a reasonable enough store. Anyway, onward up. Okay, well, I missed that one, but uh, so I did the auto park. Um, there's nobody else here, but uh, when he started backing up, he, first he backed up a little bit and he pulled forward, then he started backing up. He was backing up with authority, he knew what he was going to do. Wow, that was pretty impressive, man. Best I've seen. Uh, and I don't do it that often, just once in a while. Anyway, 21 miles, 23 minutes. 371 watt hours per mile since Raymond, Louisiana. There you go. Um, so that's that. Uh, no FSD notes. I don't think so. Um, I didn't wait for him to slow down for for uh, the intersections. I break break on FC off and held the intersections manually. But there you go. Oh, and so. Uh, while I was there in Raymond, I'm taking a picture of the, of the church. I mean, there's not much there, but uh, this couple drove drove by and pick up, and they stopped and checked to make sure I was doing okay, because it looked like I was kind of like trying to figure out how to get a signal on my phone or something. Anyway, I mean that's nice. 
So there you go. It's nice people out here. Okay, guys, welcome to Baytown, Texas. Uh, it's, uh, we covered 139 miles this day. Uh, two hours and two minutes. Oh, my goodness. And 292 watt hours per mile. And so, yes, um, that's kind of a high time trip for me. But anyway, I'm, I'm here. Time to get plugged in and get going. Okay, another uh, long sprint. Uh, marathon. Anyway, uh, Giddings, Texas, uh, 128 miles, two hours and 14, or two hours, two hours, 14 minutes, and 296 watt hours per mile. Let's get plugged in, shall we? Okay, it's not much of a sunset, but there it is. Yes, it is cloudy here in uh, uh, central Texas. Anyway. Okay, guys, time for a little break. Um, I'm kind of in North Austin. Anyway, 46 miles, 59 minutes, 273 watt hours per mile. Okay, a nice little trip around uh, the uh, toll road loop to get up to Cedar Park. 27 miles, 31 minutes, 286 watt hours per mile. And no, I wasn't flying on it. Um, a lot of people seemed kind of confused as to where they were going. So that's the time you're conservative. Anyway, I'm going to go to HB and buy some groceries, and I'll be back. Okie dokie, home again, home again, jiggity jog. 18 miles, 29 minutes. Yeah, some people apparently don't know how to drive in the dark. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, uh, 202 watt hours per mile. And that also reflects how slow it was. 22% uh, battery, and uh, it's 6.57 p.m. All right, guys, let's wrap up day four, shall we? Uh, November 27th, 658 miles, 14 hours, 17 minutes. There were five charging stops. The total kilowatt hours added was 183. The cost of those kilowatts is $17.23. And the stoppage time is one hour, 40 seconds. Um, from a tourist perspective, so to speak, I did visit Raymond, Louisiana, which was really just a crossroads with a church at it. Um, you know, more more of what I typically expect from a Raymond, from from a city. I mean, whatever. But it was nice and quiet, friendly people. So there you go. Um, yes, I did push it a bit. Um, so the 14 hours, it's just two hours over, over what I normally would put my limit at. But, um, you know, it's close to home. Didn't want to stop anywhere, just get home. And that turned out to be okay. So there you go. Um, so now I, 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 uh, um, what I'd like to do is do a summary of the total mileage going up and coming back. I won't count the mileage while I was there, but we'll try to roll those together. And then I need to do a follow-up because I'm sure you you may want to know how FSD worked. Um, it was kind of a mixed bag as usual. But anyway, we'll we'll cover that. Anyway, onward upward. Thanks. <laughs>